Mother and Child is one of Tic Tac's most beautiful and moving examples of his favorite theme. Its relatively modest size makes it easy to hold in your hands, and you would probably wish to do so if you had the chance, because close contact like this allows us a wonderful sense of intimacy not usually found in sculptures by this artist. Mother and Child is both a tactile and a visual delight. Tic Tac managed to beautifully adapt his style to the smaller scale. The work is carved with amazing sensitivity, with lovely modulated forms and open spaces. As he typically did, Tic Tac left the marks of his files and rasps on every surface, but he beautifully balanced the rugged and the delicate in this small masterpiece. Interestingly, the mother's child is cut off at roughly hip level. This and the clear forward tilt of the mother's body are unusual in Tic Tac's work. Her forward lean is echoed beautifully by the arched body of her lively older child, who looks like he's straining to see over his mother's head. It's utterly charming. George Swinton included Mother and Child in his landmark 1970 exhibition, Tic Tac, which was the first solo show for any Inuit artist in the museum. In his intro to the catalog, Swinton calls Tic Tac a poet, and he is moved to write about Tic Tac's sculpture in rather poetic language. Child growth for mother's body exudes, extrudes, arches, stretches, strains, lives. It's an odd description, but it's bang on. And in his chapter, The New Art Form, in his landmark 1972 book, Sculpture of the Inuit, which also includes a photo of this work, Swinton declares that Tic Tac's work is his message. His work does not contain messages. Art is not merely about something, it is something. I couldn't agree more. The idea that form itself gives meaning is sublimely expressed by this amazing work of art. It's simply stunning.